I'm huge right now on my 54 agents on two things. Um, is 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 going back to basics is number one. And basics to me in, in sales, because I'm the shoe salesman, uh, paper sales guy, paper boy at 12, shoe salesman, then I worked at the bank and then did car sales and real estate for 17 years. One thing that I've always done in that whole time period, other than when I was selling newspapers, um, was back to basics to me means meet people, get on the phones. Hence why you see the red phone. Mm-hmm. It's here. It's part of like uh, the set. Yeah. We decided only to have the phone because that's what you need to do. You need yeah. to make phone calls. The number two thing is is actually create content. Yeah, and 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 shoot content that's more from an educational perspective, that's not the look at me, look what I sold, and look what I listed because that kind of feeds you, your mother's, your family's ego, mm-hmm. not. Like what we like to do and what I like to do is go out, give educational tips, like give it all away. 100%. What is, like, where's your mindset now? Is, is, and, and I didn't mention this, by the way, um, and it'll probably be in the write-up somewhere. The gentleman that I'm sitting with right now, ladies and gentlemen, is by far, by far the, the biggest real estate coach in the country, hands down. I have some friends in the States that I don't want to alienate. So I'm going to say one of the top though, <laughs> real estate coaches in North America, like this is the guy. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do this with you. My team tells you just to talk a little closer to your okay. mic as well, Richard. Um, what are you telling agents right now, man? Well, almost what you just told me. Okay. Okay. Because he, think about the last few years. So, you know, once we get into COVID, market went crazy, as everybody knows, right? And when the market was so busy, what happens is people move away from the basic fundamentals of success because there were opportunities everywhere. The pie was growing, right? It was getting bigger. Um, And so all of a sudden, when the market starts to shut down, we have to get back and we've got to start meeting people, talking to people, right? Visiting with people. And I've developed a concept called the triple play. And the triple play is where you pick three ways of proactively reaching out. Okay. okay. So this is new. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, I've been following Richard for a very yeah. long time. I went to his events. I've done yeah. all the Richard stuff. Um, this so one's new. This is this okay. is newer. Okay. <laughs> okay because <go. laughs> you know I'm thinking this is where this is what I mean. Get back to the basics. Okay. So, so first of all, uh, let's pick three ways. Maybe f- telephone call, right? Texting. Uh, emailing, that's three, triple, yes. right? Or maybe it's telephone calls, texting, sending videos, Okay, right? So pick three proactive ways to reach out to people. Not reactive. You're not responding to somebody else's email. That so doesn't we gotta count. Get, we got it really yes. clear on this. I'm so We're not responding to somebody yeah. else's text. <laughs> yeah. you we're not returning somebody's phone call. Yeah, yeah, that we're doesn't proactively count. reaching out if to people, If someone says, right? come list me, my house, that, that doesn't, doesn't count. count. No, no. That I, like, that's I like the proactive. Life. I also like, before yeah. you go into it, that you're giving people options. Right. Like it's, it's, it's not these specific things. It's right. pick three. Continue. Pick three, right? Okay. And then what you do is you say, okay, and how many times am I going to do each one per day? So I'm going to do 10, 10, and 10. I'm going to do five, five, and five. And you do that five days a week before noon. Now, I know this sounds simple, and we've talked about this forever, but I promise you over the last few years, guess what everybody has not been doing? They have not been doing that, right? I don't even think some of them have been doing a single, let alone a triple. Right, right. So um, so we call that the triple play, right? And then of course, you know, if you put a deal together, if you get a signature, which could be a listing or could be an offer, obviously, then you got a home run that day, right? So everybody's, you know, I'd say, try to get a home run every day, right? Yes. Um, So, but what we're saying is like texting, like it is so easy right now to text your customers and, and, and just say to them, listen, I've just wanted to check in, you know, see how your summer's going. Obviously been a lot of changes in the real estate market. If you got any questions, I'm always here, right? Or maybe to say, hey, I just want to check and see how your summer's going. Do you have time for a quick call, right? Like just start doing that on a regular basis. Do the same with email, or maybe you're going to start to send people videos or whatever the case is, right? Um, and we've just got to start reaching out to people because you can't tell me that the buying and selling public don't have tons of questions about real estate right now. Real estate agents do. I mean, you and right. I have questions. Right. We're in the industry. Like, we eat, sleep, breathe this. Right. Let alone what the public say. Right. And I always like to think that if we're not controlling the narrative, so you as a real estate agent mortgage broker, I can tell you who is, yes. CP24, right. 680 New, and all these guys in, in the media, I don't knock them, that's their yeah. job. And But 
the unfortunate part is that they're just putting out headlines yeah. and our people are not actually delving into the actual articles or or or, yeah. or the videos right yeah. and so um all your years in coaching so i love how you gave the tactical stuff yeah. so like everybody who's watching listening if you're somebody who can actually take like action you can list stop listening to the podcast now because yeah. go do exactly what Richard just said. Yeah. Do one of those proactive plays. But I know and you know and your coaches, your team of coaches know that there's something that stops people from doing one of those three things or all those three things which are very simple. And I know that's more of a mindset thing, but what is it that you have noticed after all these years in the business that you've been in like that stops people from do actually doing it? Right. Well, first of all, I've always said real estate is simple, but it's not easy. Mm. Okay. Like it, it really is simple. You know, prospect every day, set an appointment or, you know, it, it really is simple, but it's not easy to do. And I believe that we're in a society where instant gratification is killing our dreams a little bit. Okay. We're, we're always looking for that dopamine hit. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if I go back to when I was first starting real estate, like I used to lock myself in a room, but I didn't have anything to bother me. Right, all I had was a dial phone, just like that one there. It was just a different color. It was black, right? <laughs> and I'd sit there, I called dialing for dollars. That's how I started prospecting, right? And I think we are so distracted today, right? And first of all, let's face it, a lot of people, well, I don't like calling people, you know, I don't yes. want to sound like a salesperson. I said, listen, all you have to do is reach out and just say, I just want to check in. How's your summer going? How's the family? Believe me, they're going to start talking about real estate. Team, you don't even need to bring it up. Does this stuff sound familiar, Parsa? Like, Ro, yeah. like we, we're, we're, we're doing this for ages. It's the exact way that we started. So right. continue. So you don't even need to bring real estate. They'll bring it up. Don't worry. They're going to bring it up and start talking about it, right? Um, but I think the main reason is because I just find people right now in terms of attention span is like gone, right? And I, so I say to them, just do yourself a favor. Lock yourself in an office, okay, for one hour, right? I mean, you know, shut everything off, right? Don't like, ding off no on that email dinging. even. Yes, yeah. yes. Shut it all off. Get rid of all those red circles, those notifications, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Because it's proven that, you know, we have become addicted because we get a dopamine hit every time it happens. So I think everybody has the right intentions, right? The challenge is we are so distracted today and everybody is distracted today because as soon as you pick up your phone, there's so many things you can look at, mm -hmm. right? You think it might need Instagram, I, and it goes on and on and on. So my recommendation to everybody is the same thing. You know, it's, it's like I was working on a talk just, I'm writing a brand new talk, right? Okay. Well, when I'm creating content like that, when I just got to sit and think and research and all this sort of stuff, I can't have my phone near me. Got it. I, I, it's not like I, I, I try to avoid the distraction I can't do. I got to eliminate the distraction. Right. I got to get rid of it. Like, so I actually go put it somewhere else. And do you, just, do you still probably till this day, lock yourself in some type of room and just keep, stay away from everything? And 100%. I okay. go, right? Because that's the real work. Like, like for me, you know, my real work is always developing content mm -hmm. and trying to, like right now, what am I focused on? Well, you know, we got an event coming up in November. You know, I've got a couple of speakers who are going to be out doing talks and selling tickets. What does the audience need to hear right now to help them the most, Right. That's my job. That's what I do. I study what all the agents are doing. I talk to my coaches. You know, we've got, you know, our coaching clients are the greatest resource in the world for us, right? Because we find out what they're doing. Um, that's my real work, which, by the way, is the hardest work in the world to do. What is the real work of a salesperson? Prospecting. That's the real work, right? Like, but everything else is going to be more fun. You're right. Right. Showing properties. Showing property. Like, like yeah. A million dollar listing. Right. Whatever city you want to. They would bring. rather show a property. Yeah. To an unmotivated prospect <laughs> that will never buy. Right. And get on I the guess telephone. Get the feeling that they're doing the work. <laughs> yeah. It's called being busy. You're not productive. Right. We're not exactly. And so when you say prospecting, like that gets my juices flowing. I love yeah. that shit. Yeah. Um, you know, you spoke, you, 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 you spoke about um, calling and just, and just yeah. starting the conversation. Yeah. It's so true. Like when people say to me, I don't want to make the phone call because I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to ask the question, you know, Richard, are you thinking about buying, selling or investing? I'm like, don't ask that question. Like yeah. you don't yeah. need to ask that question. Yeah. You can just say, start off with the most simple thing. Like, Hey, how you doing? Yes. 
How's everything? Yeah. Where's your headspace? What we're saying a lot to our clients right now. I'm just curious, like, where's your headspace right now yeah. in terms of what you're hearing or watching about the real estate market? Yeah. And I'm telling you, we did 3,000 focus calls in 30 days, Richard. 27% yeah. connection rate. Yeah. We wrote a little over 14 deals. A lot yeah. of calls to just write 14 deals. Yeah. But the market shifted. Yeah. Like, that's what we know yeah. we need to do. Um, and the amount of data we got out of the 27% of people that we connected with, yep. like, you ask those open-ended questions, where's your headspace at with, with, with what you're watching and listening to? People start talking, and it's 100%. all over the place. And I don't even think, you know... One thing that I've I, I've seen some of my agents do and other agents do is is get into a battle. Mm -hmm. No, Richard, you're wrong about the market. I can tell you right now, yeah. you you might win this battle. You'll lose the war with them. But I think just like hearing people out, some of them are not wrong. Like they're scared. Yes, they yeah. they, they they see a headline in the news that says um, sales are down forty nine percent, fifty percent. Well, the home that they just bought at a million dollars, they think now it's worth five hundred. Right. Because they heard sales are down, they thought Val, the, like yeah. you know, and, and and if we're not going out there as agents and and really whatever business you're in and actually educating people, someone else is going to do it for you.